Sophia started complaining about double vision. So, you know, we thought it was an eye issue, just a regular, you know, she needed glasses type of thing. I had never had double vision before and something just didn't feel right. We went from one eye doctor to another eye doctor and finally ended up in uh, Boston and saw a specialist. So it had an MRI done and diagnosed her after the MRI with an abnormal growth. They did a biopsy and found that it was uh, um, a malignant um, tumor. They just didn't know, you know much about it, what grade, what needed to be done. So at that point, they diagnosed her as having clivochondrosarcoma. She was told um, that it was pretty much an inoperable situation and proton beam radiation was her best option. Sophia's tumor was located in the superior aspect of the clivus uh, and extended uh, behind uh, her left uh, carotid artery. Her father, I think, was very surprised that my initial reaction and my initial recommendation after looking at her films was actually for surgery uh, prior to radiation therapy. She was told that, you know, that this was an unresectable lesion and that it was too dangerous to actually have surgery to remove that particular lesion. Maximal surgical resection, optimally a gross total resection, followed by proton beam radiotherapy, generates the best long-term survival. We spent a significant amount of time, both in person as well as uh, by email and phone, uh, discussing uh, the pros and cons of each of these options. And uh, I have a daughter at home, so I, I get what he was going through. I mean, he has a teenage daughter, and, and, and it's what I would do for my, for my daughter, and I shared that with him, and I think that was important in his uh, decision-making process. And I think the other component that was important for him was the fact that it's, it was technically feasible to do from our perspective. Dr. Gallia was really like compassionate, and he was just a really nice guy, person, doctor, everything. Um, so I knew that when we left, I knew that I wanted to have my surgery here because this is where I felt the most comfortable. When patients come to be evaluated at Hopkins, we don't try to say, well, it, everything needs to be done in one particular procedure or one particular manner. It's really what's best for that particular patient that has that particular pathology that we're dealing with. This is a technically challenging uh, area to get to through traditional approaches. And for her particular tumor, that this was an ideal case for a transnasal endoscopic approach. These approaches are done collaboratively with uh, otolaryngologists and neurosurgeons. Skull-based tumors are one of the most complex things, I think, that otolaryngology and neurosurgeons do. And at Hopkins, we believe that the best way to treat these are with an integrated team approach. We can bring people with expertise at controlling the nose and controlling the brain together. And we found that that gives the most successful outcomes. Chondrosarcomas and primary bone tumors have a tendency to invade and to grow into all little nooks and crannies in that particular bone. And really the goal of surgery is to remove all of uh, the abnormal uh, tumor in that region. Um, because her tumor was not one solid uh, mass, but had all of these little uh, side collections of tumor, we elected to actually do it in the intraoperative MRI scan so that we would know after the tumor resection, we would do an MRI scan and we would know at the time during surgery whether or not there was any residual tumor. I'm real happy with how things turned out. I mean, I think surgery went great. So all in all, I think things look very, very good, Sophia. My double vision started going away, so that was, that was obviously like a big deal for me. But once I started getting back into everything, it just felt like normal again. Seeing somebody like Sophia be able to return back to um, basketball, go back to school, um, have very little sequela, she was able to bounce back very quickly, it's, it's very rewarding. You know, I'm super excited actually that she uh, is back doing everything she was doing before this whole event started. She presented with, a, with double vision from involvement of this tumor with one of her nerves that moves her eye laterally. That has completely resolved and she is, she is normal. And that just makes me uh, feel really terrific that we were able to provide her uh, 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 treatment here that allows her to do that. She had a, a challenging tumor uh, in a challenging location and, and it's just really rewarding to see her back uh, living life to the fullest. The doctors here, Dr. Ishii and Dr. Galea, have just been amazing to me and my family and everybody, so it's been an amazing experience.